An FDA panel has decided if you got the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, you should soon be able to get the booster shot. Thanks for joining us. This is a nightly check in on a Friday. I'm Mark Mullen. So this news comes on day two of a key FDA panel meeting. The panel recommended the J&J &J booster for all people 18 years and older. This is a first step in a longer process. The recommendation has to be approved by the FDA and then endorsed by the CDC for emergency use. But all of that could really happen quickly. For one San Diegan who we heard from who is immunocompromised, it can't happen soon enough. It's something that I'm looking forward to getting um, and speaking with you know, friends and coworkers and relatives and everybody's kind of you know, marching down that same beat as far as that piece goes. And so, yeah, I'm ready to go as far as that. On Thursday, the same advisory panel recommended the Moderna booster for emergency use for those 65 and older, those with medical conditions, and those whose jobs put them at risk for COVID. Friday, the panel listened to a presentation about whether you should mix and match doses and your booster, but there was no vote on that topic just yet. Doctors have been talking about the benefit of vaccines for months, right? And now they say they are seeing it help people who already had COVID-19, but who are still dealing with the lingering symptoms. We spoke with Dr. Will Singh, the vaccine lead for Kaiser Permanente, he admits he's not sure why the vaccines helps so-called COVID long haulers with the symptoms, but he also says data shows that the shots are helping many fully recover. He cites studies from Yale and France that show the vaccine improved lingering symptoms, even if patients develop their own antibodies while fighting the virus. A vaccination after natural immunity is definitely warranted. It will protect you two to three times as much as if you never got the vaccine. Dr. Singh says some of the most common symptoms that long haulers battle are things like brain fog, muscle aches, and fatigue. He also shared between 10 and 20 percent of people who get COVID-19 will develop some symptoms that they can't shake for at least several weeks. Well, this has certainly been a difficult week for residents in Santee where the small plane went down on Monday killing two people. Thursday night, there was a vigil to honor two victims. We have been covering the story from every angle since it happened on Monday when we arrived at the scene shortly after the crash. The smell of jet fuel still in the air, homes smoldering. But through it all, we have seen resiliency, an amazing show of support and unity throughout that community. A major storyline this week has been the heroic efforts of neighbors willing to risk their own lives to help the lives of others. Neighbors like Phil and Maria Morris, the couple rescued from their burning home. They're still hospitalized, recovering from burns. We've also gotten to know young newlyweds, Cody and Courtney Campbell, whose home was destroyed after living here for just five months. On Wednesday, hope among the debris, they found Cody's wedding ring. It was pretty incredible. Um, I kind of broke down. It's a miracle that, that it wasn't a worse tragedy than it was. All the affection and the overwhelming response from all of you have made this much easier to deal with. Okay, so that last person you just heard from was Jeff Kruger. He is the brother of UPS driver Steve Kruger, one of two people who died in the tragedy. Hunters showed up to that vigil Thursday night to honor him and the pilot of the plane who also died, Dr. Sagata Das. Gratitude and resilience were major feelings shared by so many who attended and continue to help pick up the pieces in Santee tonight. The San Diego Zoo is honoring Fernando Tatis Jr. in a memorable way by naming a newborn Tamandua after the Padres superstar. What is a Tamandua? This. Tatis Jr. is his name. He was born a little more than uh, six pounds, 28 inches long. Already we are told he is sharing the same confidence and energy as his Padres namesake. Fun fact, the pup is truly a junior. His father's name also happens to be Fernando. Well, Tatis Jr. also scores home runs, we're told, when it comes to taking naps, going on piggyback rides on his mama's back. Tamanduas are lesser anteaters who are native to Central and South America. This weekend is already shaping up to be a big one for outdoor activities. We've got some more warm weather in the forecast, and Friday people are already were out at the beaches trying to beat the heat and soak up the sun. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a comfortable, maybe a little warm if you stand, but the breeze is perfect. It's the air, it's, you couldn't ask for anything any better. I'm having a great day. This is our last day in San Diego, so we're just making sure to bum on the, the beach for the day. Many people we spoke with today mentioned the unseasonably warm weather, and they were thrilled for more and what may be ahead. It is worth reminding everyone, though, uh, the weather often brings with it elevated fire risk. Cal Fire has said October is often one of the busiest months as far as wildfires are concerned, so be mindful of that. 
Here are your current temperatures as we continue on the weather theme. If you want to learn more about what is in store, Dagmar has an extended forecast over at the weather section located on the main menu of your Apple TV or Roku app. I'm Mark Mullen. That's going to do it for our nightly check and have a great weekend.